So I imagine that most of you are in a bit of shock. It's a little hard to fathom, isn't it? Like a big question, I think, to ask yourself. What if the masks don't actually do anything to help? Just, just what if? And actually, they made things worse. That's one of the first things you got to look at. And there's no scientific studies that show that masks work. And there seems to be a lot of people reacting to the amount of carbon dioxide building up in front of you in a negative way. So, I mean, that's just one thing to think about. Next is socially distancing. So you don't see people in large groups. You don't invite people to your house. Like our mood has so much to do with life. And if we enjoy our life, it boosts our immune system. We get sick when we get depressed, when we're emotionally in a bad way. So not being able to get touched and not being able to see your friends, that's supposed to help. They never mention the immune system, never. Like common sense has to come in here. And if they're saying that you have to do these things to get well, and none of them make sense, and they don't talk about bolstering your immune system, something's really wrong. And then the now famous PCR test, which uh, once it's gone to a certain high amount of amplification is, has no correlation to reality in terms of being able to find uh, what they say they're looking for. So, uh, so many false positives. And so the test actually isn't built for what they're talking about. And the owner, the developer, the maker of the test, it even says this. And then he says that Fauci is, knows absolutely nothing about science. Then you got a vaccine uh, with technology that has never been proven, not tested, uh, that there's no recourse against the manufacturers if it goes wrong, and already people are dying, getting paralyzed, and uh, not being able to even move after getting the vaccine. And it doesn't even prove that it stops you from getting it or passing it on if you do get it. Maybe I'm crazy, but these things all together add up to more insanity from a governance system that proves over and over again that is not there for the people, but is there for the these rich corporations and billionaires who seem to be doing very well uh, while this pandemic is happening. But you know, Canadians, we love to be polite and we don't want to stand out and we like sort of going along and conforming to what everyone else is doing. And so we just do that. And that seems to be a bit of a, a human trait as well. But I think it's about time to look at things with a little bit more of a uh, practical matter and look at our economy and look at our jobs and look at our life and look at how we want to live our life. And again, what if the masks don't help and the social distancing doesn't help and the vaccine doesn't help? What then? At what point do you stand up? In Italy, 50,000 restaurants all opened on the same day and bingo, the next day the government stopped all of their uh, bullshit. And uh, this shows a country that uh, people that has had enough and they stop it immediately. This cap and sweep, just uh, something to think about, right? Something to think about.